For over a hundred years, flights have been a part of life, consistently changing and evolving as time goes on. Even with modern technology, there are still risks involved whenever jumping on a flight that takes you up to 30,000 feet in the air. Some flights, however, are known to be more dangerous than others and require a veteran pilot to navigate the routes. Keep watching as we cover the top 10 most dangerous flights in the world. Number 10. Dalo Airlines With two-star reviews being given generously by its passengers, Dalo Airlines has a very bad record in regards to safety, cleanliness, and service. Dalo is a Somali-owned airline with headquarters based in Dubai and its main operation is out of Djibouti and Bouli International Airport. Flights include the Horn of Africa and the Arabian Peninsula. The airline keeps facts and information private, which adds to the sketchy vibe it gives off. In 2010, all flights were grounded with no explanations but resumed later that same year. Dalo Airlines hasn't suffered any casualties, but there have been a few serious incidents. In 2009, during a routine flight, a man tried to hijack the plane, and in 2010, another man tried to board a flight strapped with enough explosives to blow the plane out of the sky. Currently banned from the European Union with no safety certificate, you should definitely add this airline to your no-fly list. Number 9. Blue Wing Airlines Based out of Zorgenhoop Airport in Paramaribo, this small airline company has been in operation since 2002. Generally, this company transports passengers to the interior parts of Suriname, Guyana, Brazil, Venezuela, and the Caribbean. Blue Wing has frequently spent time on and off the European Union blacklist and is currently banned from flying in the EU. Blue Wing has had numerous problems, from safety issues all the way to crashes. In the early 2000s, the company came under fire after four Antonov 28s that were part of their fleet failed to pass safety regulations including the absence of ground proximity warning systems that are required on all aircraft. In the past 10 years, they have had numerous crashes with both passenger and crew deaths. You would be doing yourself a favor by avoiding this airline if you travel to South America. Number 8. Lion Air Known to be Indonesia's largest privately owned airline, operation started in 2000. Lion Air probably has the worst safety rating on this list and a handful of other issues that have arisen since its establishment. Being the fourth most populated country in the world, Indonesia's need for medium haul jets has risen and Lion Air answered the call with several orders of Boeings and Airbus. They fly passengers to over 80 destinations and have established two additional airlines in Malaysia and Thailand. The safety record for the company suffers due to over 8 serious accidents and a number of fatalities all within the last 10 years. They've had pilots overshoot landings while others crashed into bodies of water, to name a few. Most recently, in 2012, the company came under scrutiny for their pilots being in possession of crystal meth. Number 7. SCAT Airlines Founded in 1997, this Kazakhstan-based airline is known for being a low-cost carrier. Operating out of their main hub in Shimken Airport, the company services all major cities in Kazakhstan and their neighboring countries. SCAT is ranked with only one star by the FAA, making them one of the most dangerous flights in the world. Although for most of their history, SCAT has been accident and incident free, but in 2013, they suffered a terrible loss. An aircraft carrying 21 people crashed while flying between Kokshita and Almaty with all passengers being killed. A few other minor incidents have occurred within the company and SCAT continues to operate without an internationally recognized safety audit certificate. The good news, however, is that SCAT is genuinely trying to improve their airline and are focusing on achieving professional accreditation. Let us know in the comments below if you would book a flight with this airline and why. Number 6. Nepal Airlines It's crazy to think that a majority of flight companies here have had multiple deaths and crashes with Nepal Airlines being no exception. More formally known as Royal Nepal Airlines, this company started in 1958 and was Nepal's first. It has grown to flying over 39 destinations, including 7 international ones. As you can imagine, they too, as most all on our list, have been blacklisted by the European Union. As for the safety record, it's disgusting to say the least. Since its start, the airline company has had numerous incidents and crashes that have claimed the lives of passengers and crew members. The most recent crash occurred in 2014 when a plane went missing en route to Jamala and crashed, killing 18 people. Nepal Airlines has never participated in any safety audits and continues to be one of the most dangerous flights in the world. Number 5. Terra Air A subsidiary company to Yeti Airlines, Terra Air was established in 2009 and uses the same fleet of airplanes as its parent company. Its main operating hub is out of the Tribune International Airport and operates short takeoff and landing services. Their main focus is remote and mountainous airports and landing strips. The small fleet of eight airplanes earned its one star away from being FFA approved. Terra Air's safety rating is quite bad however, for in 2010 and 2011 there were three accidents that caused 22 deaths of passengers and crew. 
Small planes with mountainous terrain winds make for a risky flight. The company is looking to raise its ratings and achieve ISOA recognition in the near future, but for now, it's probably wise to stay away from flying Terra Airs. Number 4. Yeti Airlines Based in Kathmandu, Nepal, this airline company has been around since 1998 after partnering with Terra Air to form the largest domestic flight operator in Nepal. Yeti flies to 10 domestic destinations with 7 aircraft in operation. In the past decade alone, Yeti has had numerous accidents resulting in the deaths of more than 30 passengers and crew and has destroyed multiple aircrafts. One of their biggest boasts is that they have the highest on-time performance of any airline in the area and serve beverages with snacks. As if being able to eat on the airplane would coerce you into forgetting about the history of crashes they have. Yeti offers a one-hour express Mount Everest flight that remains popular with tourists who brave this airline. Number 3. Merpati Airlines Established in 1962 by the Indonesian government, Merpati became the second state airline available to consumers. The financial status of the airline has had a long history of being a mess and as of 2015, Merpati has not been in operation. As for their safety history, in the past decade, Merpati has had over 50 casualties over the course of 6 serious accidents. They are banned from flying in any European airspace due to their poor record. It comes as somewhat of a surprise that their safety records are so bad, as Merpati has a training center and pilot school that's up to standards. The company has expressed interest in becoming an international airline, but due to debt, unhappy employees, and frozen operation, there's high doubt they'll get the ball rolling on anything and it's probably for the best. Number 2. Cam Air Founded in 2003, Cam Air is an Afghanistan-based airline which operates out of Kabul. They were the first privately owned passenger airline in Afghanistan and they operate both domestic and international flights. Cam Air tried to schedule flights into Europe, but as of 2010, all Afghan flights were banned from flying in the EU. They've had more than their fair share of accidents since starting operations and had one crash that resulted in the deaths of 96 passengers and 8 crew members. Other incidents include a bomb threat that caused the plane to be diverted and a tail strike accident that was taken seriously by the company. Without an ICAO safety audit, they are banned from entering US airspace as well. The company's complete disregard for safety and failure to improve ensures that they will remain a terribly unsafe airline to use and we strongly recommend you never use Cam Air. Number 1. Ariana Afghan Airlines The largest airline of Afghanistan boasts only a 2-star rating according to AirlineRatings.com. Introduced in 1955, Ariana Airlines has been blacklisted from the European Union since 2006 due to safety precautions. During the Taliban uprising, this airline was completely grounded and has been rebuilding since. After lessening tensions, the UK lifted sanctions preventing the company from running international flights. Ariana's flight history and safety records have been pretty ugly and it's time since starting. In total, 19 planes have been written off with 154 casualties although most of these accidents and deaths occurred during the 90s when there was high tension in the Middle East. They don't hold a safety certificate and it seems as though they have no intentions of pursuing one. Currently, Ariana Airlines operates the three domestic and seven international destinations. We strongly suggest you avoid this airline, even though it's ironically the largest and best in Afghanistan.